Good morning. I'm sitting here with uh, our Director of Finance, Tanya McCabe, and I wanted to ask and answer some questions in relating to taxes so people have a better understanding of what's going on with their taxes. So we're gonna talk a little bit this morning just on three topics. Um, we're gonna talk about property assessment. We're gonna talk about why the city collects taxes and how we determine the tax rate. And then we're gonna talk about what kinds of grants or relief is available for uh, those in the community that need it. So we'll just go kind of go over those things and, and try to get through uh, some of these questions in a way that everyone's going to understand. So Tonya, my first question this morning is, if my property assessment goes up, does that mean that I'm going to pay higher property taxes? Uh, not necessarily. Um, your property tax assessment can go up, um, but that does not necessarily mean you're going to pay higher taxes. Okay, so when we when we see that, so all of us have seen our property assessment go up, especially across the province this year. Mm -hmm. And so in speaking with the assessment people, they've been doing the assessments, BC assessments doing the assessments for all the province since the mid 70s. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen our uh, assessment go, you know, somewhere between 10 or 20% up as high as 30 or 40% depending upon, you know, the house or whatever our personal circumstances are. So if I see that my percentage of assessment goes up, let's say 30%, mm -hmm. but the average is, let's say 20%, mm -hmm. does that mean that in all likelihood that I'm gonna pay a little higher taxes than, than the average. That would mean yes, because then your share of the total pie has grown and so you will see a higher tax increase than the average home. And so if my tax rate was at 16% and the average across the community was at 20%, there may be a chance that my taxes are not gonna go up. Correct. Okay, so that sometimes is confusing in dealing with those sorts of things. So, you know, we'll do a subsequent video and kind of determine that based on numbers so that people can kind of understand and we'll do an average and, and that sort of thing. But I just wanted to touch base on that. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about taxes, why are we collecting taxes? Why is there property taxes? What are we using that money for? So people, you know, they go like, well, the city's just taking more money from us, but what are we utilizing that money for? Now, the property taxes get used to provide the services that the municipality provides to the city. So that'd be things like um, maintaining the roads, uh, clearing the snow every year, um, maintaining the facilities for the recreational, um, so the pool and the arena, uh, trails and the green belt, um, things like that, that the city, that the residents of the city would be using. It also covers some of the administrative costs as well. Perfect, good. So the services we provide in the community is really what's uh, driving that tax. It is. So the more services that we need to provide, mm -hmm the likely higher likelihood that the taxes may increase. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. So how do we determine the property tax rate? Property tax rate. That is determined by taking the assessment value for all of the properties in the city and then taking the total property tax revenue that the city needs and then putting the dividing the two and then that gives us the tax rate. Okay, so when we, you know, we sit around the council table and we go through all the budget items and that sort of thing, and we come up with a percentage, mm -hmm. which is always hard for even the council to understand. Mm -hmm. So we've got, you know, for this year, we've got a, a budget basically set at, you know, a small percentage, mm -hmm. but we need that to do increase our, our services. Yes. Okay, so the last question, what kinds of grants are available or relief to help our citizens when we're talking about taxes. Yes, the province offers two programs and they're both tax deferral programs. One is for people that are 55 years of age and older or disabled um, and the province will pay your property taxes. Um, you have to pay your utilities still and then you're allowed to defer them. So they'll pay them for you and then it sits there as a, as a money you owe the province and they charge you interest obviously, but it's quite a low interest rate. And then there's also one for families with children as well. So if you have children, you're supporting children financially, then you also have the opportunity to defer your taxes. Okay, so we can do that deferral and then and then of course there is the homeowner grant, Yes. right? And so everybody who's a resident uh, homeowner in their house yes. can apply for that homeowner grant. That's correct. Okay. Yes. 
Great. All right. Uh, thank you. I, I just wanted to touch base. At least we'll give something uh, to the community. And then we're going to get into a little more detail in the subsequent video, but at least this will get us started. So thanks for your time, Tanya. You're welcome. All right. Thank you.